guys, I'm Missy Bernier and thanks for tuning in to my channel. Today I will be doing a curl tutorial. I'm so excited because, you know, it's been a minute that I've done a curl tutorial and also I'm so excited to share the products that I got at my hair appointment in Chicago. Yes, I'll talk about all about it and all about my travels and what I have planned for in 2020. So stay tuned guys, it's gonna be a fun one. All right guys, so we're gonna get started with this curl tutorial. It took me forever to do my intro because I haven't done a YouTube video in a while, so had to get the nerves out, but okay. We're gonna, so my hair is kind of slightly drying, but that's okay because I don't want, really didn't want it soaking wet because I feel like it's harder to put the product in. So we're gonna start with this one. It's called Kevin Murphy. So Kevin Murphy. And um, this is called Killer Curls. It's anti frizz curl defining cream. So um, with that being said, I'll just talk about my hair texture and why I have to use creams and how I have found out the hard way. So I get my hair done in Chicago because my sister lives in Chicago. And what better way is to visit my sister in Chicago. So also, um, I already put, uh, I already washed and conditioned my hair. So it should be all ready to go. Um, I may have to like get up and wet it because it's kind of drying. But anyways, so I um, get my hair done in Chicago. My stylist is amazing. Her name is Michelle and she's great. And I have right now in my hair, I have balayage, which is kind of, it's a dye, but it's a form of like dyeing your hair. It's not like the harsh like chemicals to get blonde. It's more like natural and it kind of forms a color with my natural brown hair. So that's what I have. I mean, honestly, I really don't know the true definition of balayage. That's what I think balayage is, but you're welcome to look it up. And if you know the actual definition, comment below. So yeah. So I have to use cream products for my hair because my hair, one, is like thin, and two, um, if I don't use cream products, it if I use gel products, um, it will take all the moisture out of my hair. So before I went home for Christmas, I was using like gel products because one, I was just being like cheap, two, I was lazy and I was like, this will this will be fine. So did it. Um, it it literally took out all the moisture in my hair, so my ends were so brittle, so dry. It was awful. Like it, it was literally like I didn't even have curls anymore because like my hair like was just so damaged from using the gel. And also on top of that, I straightened my hair a couple weeks ago for my birthday, and so just doing that was just too much. And when I went to my appointment, she was my um, hairstylist was like what happened why is your hair so brittle she was like please promise me never to put gel in your hair ever again and it literally scarred me from using gel products so i mean like the only time i can probably use gel products is maybe like if i'm trying to like have my hair in a slick back ponytail or something like an updo not as like an everyday maintenance to my hair because it was pure like it was not good and if I continued to use it she said my hair would have like started falling out because it was like so dry and it was like no coming back but now it feels so soft and everything but yeah so um this product smells amazing by the way it literally smells like perfume for your hair it smells really good um so yeah so I'm just putting a, a little bit more in doing my scrunching method yeah like um I'll just do this for a while, but so far, like, my break was, like, really good. Like, um, you know, got to spend time with family um, since living out in L.A., like, a lot of changes. I know, I don't know if, if you all tuned into my last video. It wasn't a curl tutorial, but it was around, like, um, you know, like, changes in, like, my life over the past years. Okay, so also... This is going to be a really quick curl tutorial because it's not a lot of products. And I'm trying to refrain from using a lot of products in my hair because I just want moisture to come back because it was so damaged from using gel. Like, oh my God, it was awful. And she did cut my hair too, but, you know, I don't mind that she cuts it because I personally think for curly hair, this is just my opinion, just for curly hair, but, like, to have short shorter hair for curls I feel like you have more volume so I'm down but yeah so 
I went <laughs> and when I came home from break yesterday, or why well, I keep saying break? Okay, when I came home yesterday, um, I immediately threw out the the like the gel because I was like, I never want to use this ever again. Like it just was not good for my hair because I need like moisture and like all that stuff. So every so anytime I'll go to Ulta, I just like have to like just have to like know I'm gonna be spending money on like good hair products. Okay. So, um, after I put this in, I was going to put a little bit more of this Moroccan oil. I, this is a bottle, if you can't see it, but I'll put all, like, the labels on it on the bottom of the video so you guys can actually see what I'm using. But, yeah, so, this is also good for, like, fine, for fine or, like, colored hair. So, it just as more, um oil to it I like to air dry my hair so this is probably gonna take a while but I feel like that's the best way for my curls to like come alive like I do want to want to use a diffuser but again like I just like don't know how to do I just rather just do what I know um you know just because of like what I like went through with my hair so it was it was sad I was like I miss my curls but this should look good if anyone wants to know while my hair dries anyone wants to know what's on my face or just curious um hopefully my hair my hair turns out because it was for sure drying when i was doing my intro okay so um if anyone wants to know what's on my face i'll show you the products i bought this like really amazing glow kit before like Christmas time actually no I'll show you so got this new glow elixir from Becca and it's bomb I don't know what you guys it's amazing this glow elixir it's really good um it hydrates your face so I use it before I put on my makeup then I use MAC I used to use NARS but NARS this one product I used with NARS was like this sheer glow hydration and it just made my face like super greasy and I was just like I can't do it so I got a matte one from MAC so this is really good um this studio fix fluid so that's what I use for my face and then I got this amazing glow palette from Becca and these shades in here are like bomb like they're so pretty so I use that mostly for my face and then obviously mascara I'm not a really big fan into like caking my face and like adding like you know like some people are like are made for that like they can do all those like pretty things to their face and like make it like super pretty and like really professional but like not to say my face isn't professional but you know like all the different shades and like eyeshadows it's I just I'm not that talented um, and then yeah and then I use like uh, this rose spray but I need some more to like set my face and that's it like I keep it very natural okay so hopefully my curls turn out good um since I let it get like a little dry there's a mirror over here so that's what I'm looking at but we'll see and I'll let you guys know how it turns out so I'll see you guys in a few okay Hi everyone I'm back and this is how my hair dry you know it's um I think it dried pretty well the curls are I just love that I got a, a trim because my hair is so even but this is how it turned out I think it turned out really good um, especially since literally yesterday my hair was straight so <clears throat> I think it looks really good it feels really soft and um, as for like a finishing I put on this the Moroccan oil so that like made my hair super soft and I like love it how it overall feels like the curls Oops, the curls are like really good and they feel really fluffy and you can still see like my color in there but it's not as blonde as it was so that's good but yeah it's like looks really good and like super pretty and bouncy so I recommend everyone to get the Kevin Murphy I don't think that um, it's not super expensive. I think just for this bottle itself is $22. So it's definitely manageable. And this Moroccan oil is V expensive. Well, for my 
<laughs> for my budget expensive it's like I believe it's like 41 um she could have given me a, dis a discount or not I'm not too I really didn't look up how much it cost I kind of just bought it when I was at the hair salon but I know Nordstrom carries it and some other brands but I'll definitely put a link down below so you guys can click on it but otherwise yeah so this is how it turned out i hope you guys enjoyed my curl tutorial i'm so happy that you guys tuned in and make sure to, to subscribe leave a comment below and also like this video thank you guys so much for watching me i really appreciate it i'll catch you later bye everyone